What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a tweak that allows you to reveal the hidden springboard settings on your iDevice. So you can see here if I swipe up on the control center, right below the airdrop is the springboard setting. So if we tap on that, it's going to bring you to a list of different categories where you can go in and you can tinker with a whole bunch of different stuff. You see here that you can change the behavior of the folders as well as zoom animations, your control center. There's a ton of different stuff. So just for example, let's go into the folders here and you can see that you can toggle on allow nest folders as well as pinch to close which allows you to pinch the folder to close them and blurred folder background so we usually have blurred folder background on our device so you can see if we open that up that's the blurred folder background and if we pinch then you can see that it's going to close just like that but let's go ahead and go back into our springboard settings and let's turn off the blurred background and it's gonna do exactly what you would think you don't have any type of frosted glass behind there for that folder so let's go back in here and let's mess with a few other things here. Like the control center, you can actually change the color of the highlighted uh, stuff in your control center. So we'll change it to orange. That way when we open it up, you can see that the Wi-Fi as well as the sliders right here are orange rather than white. So that's pretty cool. And if we go back, if we go all the way down here, you can see slow spring animations. So if we toggle that on, you're gonna get some really slow animations here. So let's bring up the app switcher. You can see it goes extremely slow. Even going back into the springboard, it goes really slow. And even when we're unlocking our device. So while that is more of a novelty feature, most of the stuff is actually pretty cool to tinker with. And I mean, there's a ton of stuff that you can mess with. So I definitely recommend going in there and figuring out exactly what you can do and all the cool stuff there is to tinker with in there. So it's actually pretty simple to install this. You do have to install a couple of repos here. So just go ahead and open up Cydia and then tap on manage. You're gonna tap on sources and this is where you're going to add these two repos which is repo.cydiahacks.com. So go ahead and type that in just by hitting edit, hit add and then type that in right there. And then you also want to add cydia.myrepospace.com slash pwn24k. So it's going to be this one right here. Again, just hit this edit, add, and then type that in and hit add source. Now I'll put both of these repos in the description below. That way you guys can just copy and paste if you want to do that. Also, once you have these installed, just tap on uh, the pwn24k and then you want to download bootstrap this is going to be the first thing and only thing that you're going to download from pwn24k repo so just tap on that instead of it saying modify it's going to say install so just install that and then you can go back here go to city hacks and it's going to be the only tweak in city hacks it's called hidden sb settings for ios 7 Again, you just want to hit install and then go ahead and let that install. Now, I'm pretty sure that when I installed this, you did have to do a reboot. So just keep that in mind that you will have to reboot your device, but that's really not that big of an issue. Once you install both of those repos and both of those packages, after it reboots, all you have to do is swipe up on your control center and springboard settings will be there for you to mess around with. Now keep in mind that if you do screw up with all this stuff and you don't like what's going on, you can always tap on restore defaults and it's going to change it all back to the way it was. So that means that you can mess with anything and everything that you want. And if you screw anything up, then you can always come down here on the front page and tap on restore defaults and everything will be back to normal. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.